um, and then this is the speed I want it to move at. So if I hit enter, it's going to parse it and you should see on the screen and you're going to see the wheel moving into that direction. Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Uh, welcome to the part two of controlling hoverboard motor with $10 board using uh, Arduino Mega. You can also follow this tutorial with Arduino Uno. I have done this in Arduino Uno. So I'm not going to go through uh, how to hook up the board and uh, battery with it and also the hall sensors. Uh, you can check out my previous tutorial where I show in the detail uh, how to hook up all these things. In previous tutorial we used potentiometer to control the motor speed. Uh, but in this tutorial what we're going to do is in this tutorial we're going to hook it up with the Arduino Mega and control the uh, hoverboard motor uh, from the Arduino program. So we have very simple program here. Uh, this is just a uh, initial uh, uh, sketch that is just shows you uh, how to control your motor, how to change the speed, and also uh, control the direction. It's very basic, so you guys can understand it. So let's get started. So in this, uh, I'm only showing how to hook up uh, the um, the control pins on it. So basically the first pin, you can also see this on the back side. I, I took this picture from the back side and put it in here. So each uh, pin is marked uh, 5 volt. So this is 5 volt right here that connects it to the 5 volt and mega. Um, and also this is on the other side is ground. You can see this ground right here on the other side. And this connects to the ground, any ground. There's two grounds available. You can connect to any one of them. Also the EL pin right there that gets connected to pin 5 on Mega. The signal pin which is a hall uh, sensor pin that gets connected to pin 3 on Mega. ZF pin uh, that gets connected to right here you can see ZF. ZF pin gets connected to pin 4 on Mega. And uh, VR pin uh, gets connected to pin 2 on Mega. So this is very simple setup. So the rest of stuff you want to uh, find out how to hook these things up uh, you have to go and watch my first tutorial also some folks asked if we can control the motor without the hall sensors there is a different version of the board that doesn't have hall sensors with it it only has the motor hookup and the power and uh, the control pins and doesn't have this set right here uh, on those boards the same price 10 bucks 9 bucks and you can control your motor uh, without the hall sensor with that board so okay so we're going to walk through the sketch and just to see what um, the so pin assignment here which is you can see I uh, named the variables uh, on them uh, so you can understand what each pin uh, assigned is doing and what uh, on the board um, lettering what it means so basically EL pin on the board is to start and stop the uh, wheel at zero will start uh, zero will stop the wheel and the five volts will start the wheel um, so the signal uh, pin is detects the steps uh, every time the magnet passes through the hall sensor it counts as a one step I believe and uh, it tells you how many steps it has taken uh, while the wheel was rotating or it is rotating uh, the I, the four the ZF pin is the direction I think uh, zero to five if you provide zero and you flip it to five volt it changes the direction of the wheel uh, I notice on this board it doesn't stop right away it doesn't have any brakes so it takes a, a, a second or less than a second um, uh, to stop based on how fast you're going and you will see uh, when we test it uh, the wheels does overshoots uh, the number of step you set uh, in the code and the VR pin is uh, speed control and is uh, controls the speed of the wheel how fast or how slow you want the wheel to rotate so um, th so to make it easy what I did is uh, basically uh, I uh, included a, a Arduino JSON uh, library in there uh, because we're gonna be using similar JSON commands we're gonna open up uh, our um, uh, serial com uh, window and we're gonna just copy these uh, commands in there so next what I'm doing in the um, sketch is to uh, starting a, a serial and uh, 
excuse me, setting up the pin modes. The start stop is set to output. The hall sensing is set to input and the direction is set to output. I also attached the interrupt to count steps to the uh, hall sensing pin basically, which is uh, uh, pin three right here. And then uh, this uh, uh, command basically calls this function. So every time the it's set to high, high to low, the pulse function is called. So if you look at the pulse function right here, it basically a counter, it counts from uh, zero to number of step it takes. And we detect that and say, okay, if the uh, position that we set uh, here, number of step we set here is equal to number of step we gi have given in the program. If it is equal, um, greater than or equal to this, it's going to stop the wheel. So that means that if I ask it to run uh, you know, for 50 steps and stop, so this is what it's going to do. It's going to make sure uh, that it spins up to 50 steps and stops. Uh, but you will see that uh, it does overshoots a little bit because it doesn't have any brakes. So, so <clears throat> next thing uh, we're doing is we set up a, a stop function here, uh, forward and backward, and uh, they're setting uh, the mm, uh, pins high and low or accordingly, you know, uh, trying to spin that wheel. Uh, this is a single wheel right now. When you use the two wheels, you're going to be uh, able to actually uh, have multiple uh, wheels controlling in a similar fashion so you can rotate it left or right so both wheels are working on the moving into that direction and this is the loop function right here so loop basically does is waits for the uh, command from the serial input and um, initializes a JSON uh, object and it parses the JSON object and then it basically from that it uh, subtract three values which is a direction uh, which is a string mm, and the number of step which is int and then the speed which is int and then once it does initializes that it actually calls the drive function so if we go up in the drive function I have three commands listed here so this commands actually uh, direction gives it a direction in a string so say move forward and then the step uh, move 30 steps into that forward direction at uh, speed 50 so um, in also uh, you could do the backward same way and then you can <clears throat> give it a command to uh, stop the wheel so for both function wheel move forward and wheel move backward uh, they're similar uh, basically it sets the speed at which uh, you want to rotate the wheel at and uh, uh, this is the parameter that was initialized uh, in the JSON right here. And uh, so it grabs that value and puts that in, in here. Um, and then um, basically what it does, it stops the motor by setting this pin to low. And then it waits uh, 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 one second and then it sets the directions uh, to high. So to move forward and then it uh, uh, waits for another second and then it starts the motor again so which is setting back to high again so in a similar fashion if you look at it uh, high and low is exactly the same thing for backward but only thing is it sets the direction to low to change the direction of the motor so very very simple uh, setup and on, on the other hand just uh, stopping the wheel it's just a simple pin set it to low and it stops it so it's very, very simple. It's not complicated at all if you break it down. And it, this is just to show you guys how exactly this works. And for simple uh, situations, how you can use this controller to control the uh, three phase, um, you know, hoverboard or similar motors to move forward, backward or stop it. Um, thinking about a project maybe incorporating into uh, voice controlling the motor but I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll welcome you guys' suggestions. But uh, this is the code uh, that actually is going to control. So let's go ahead and uh, test this out to see how it works. So, okay, so as you can see, um, I have everything set up, the, the wheel, the hoverboard wheel and the Arduino Mega and everything is hooked up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna simply take this uh, command right here and put it into the 
um, serial input right here so uh, here you can see I'm setting the directions in the program uh, because when I'm later on using it I want to know which direction I'm going to because it's not easy to get it from the GPIO pins on the uh, um, the software itself and the hall sensor doesn't tell you the direction it just tells gives you the count back so I, I'm setting this up because for future uses I'm going to be using this and this parameter I'm uh, setting up the step I wanted to uh, motor to move to 30 steps um, and then this is the speed I wanted to move at so if I hit enter it's gonna parse it and you should see on the screen and you're gonna see the wheel moving into that direction and it stops and you can see that it is overshooting a little bit not much because uh, um, it depends on how fast you're making it go uh, it will um, basically uh, overshoot by some I'm not sure exactly what the percentage is so next we're gonna go ahead and move it in the other direction it's very very easy um, so I'm going to go ahead and move it to other direction and you can see it's moving into the other direction so let's uh, change the speed on to moving it to um, the, uh, this uh, so I'm gonna change the speed to maybe slow it down I'll change it to 30 and I'll make it um, yeah 30 30 so we'll go ahead and do that so I'll clear this out so you guys can see it clearly So you can see it moved very very slow and the overshoot is less but now I'm gonna go ahead and move it to 100 and uh, rotate it for a thousand so let's see how it does it so I'm gonna go ahead and hold the motor I don't want it to fly off the bench so I'm gonna go ahead and hold it and let's see how fast it goes So let's go ahead and set it to 100 uh, speed and set it to 6,000 steps. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a command and while it's spinning, I'm going to go ahead and execute the stop command. So, so to show you that we can stop it uh, in the uh, middle of uh, the uh, goal point that we set for it to run to. okay so now it's gonna start moving and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wait until it gets to like 1500 and then give it a command to stop okay there you go so you can see I, I gave it a stop command and it got executed so it did not go all the way up to 6000 so if I let it run um, it will go up to the 6000 if I don't stop it so let's try that again 6000 and uh, set it to 100 clear it out and now let it run for 6000 2000 so this is basically hall sensor every time it hits the magnet it counts as one but it's printing it out on our serial so this is what it's printing it out right here I mean this tutorial is for beginners and the people who are using it the first time it, it, it's not complicated at all uh, when as you can see it completed uh, 6,000 steps and it overshot by 36 steps so guys this is it for this tutorial uh, let me know what you guys want to see for the part 3 I will try my best to get that in there uh, I'm working on some other boards also which I will uh, do tutorials later on uh, once uh, they're done. So until next time, bye.